Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody. Now something I've been a part of this decade a lot is Maybelline's makeup like this. And I decided that this year I was gonna take a little step back and focus on new projects and new stuff. But if you really thought they were gonna get rid of me that easily and not do anything with me this year, you're wrong, I'm back. <laughs> so today we're gonna find out if you're naughty or nice for the holiday season because over on Maybelline's channel, I am doing a nice holiday makeup look. And over on my channel here today, I am doing the naughty. I mean, look at that, my backdrop is literally a skull. Like, hello. I decided to bring some drama. With that said, that also means that today's makeup look is gonna be very affordable because it's just gonna be Maybelline product only and it's gonna be a holiday look that's gonna look a little bit naughty. So if you're naughty for the holiday season and you wanna know how to match your makeup look with that using affordable drugstore makeup products, then sit right where you're sitting and don't go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> So the first product I'm gonna be going in with is this Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation by Maybelline. And this is a it's up to 12 hours of continuous hydration. It visibly improves the look of the skin and it has a medium coverage with a radiant finish. It doesn't clog pores and is dermatologist tested, yes. Now since it's the holiday season and it's the time to sparkle or glow, I have this right here. This is called the Face Studio Chrome Jelly highlighter. This one is in the color 20 metallic rose and just the tiniest bit of this will make your foundation last longer because this is super super long wear but it will also add that beautiful glow to your foundation. So this mixture is going on my face. And I mean do you see that beautiful skin like glow still coming through? That is because we added that extra bit of radiance using that face chrome jelly highlighter. I'm like, look at that. That is ooh, beaming. For concealer today, I'm going in with the Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer in the color 10. And once that is blended in like perfection, I'm going in with the Fit Me Loose Powder in 05 to bake and set my face. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I did my brows and one eye off camera, so this is what's waiting for you. I just wanna let you know that I recently did a full in-depth brow tutorial, so if you wanna know how I do my brows, go to that video. The pencil I used is by Maybelline. This is the Brow Ultra Slim in the color blonde. This is one of the best eyebrow pencils out there. Not saying that because I'm partnering up with them this video. I've been saying this in other videos. This is a must. And to set the hairs of the brow into place, I've been using this, the Brow Fast Sculpt in also the, it's a mascara gel, also in the color blonde. And it literally looks like this. And all you do is you take it and then you go through your hair. It defines them and it puts them right into place. And it keeps those hairs up all day long. So you just flick it through the hair Create the shape that you like and call it a day. For eyes, I'm playing with this very exciting Nudes of New York eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like, everybody. Look at that. This is a warm nude dream. The first color I'm dipping into from the palette is this shade right here called Creator. I'm picking that up on a brush and I'm stamping it onto the outer portion of my crease to create warmth and definition right there. Hello. And all we're doing is kind of stamping that on and creating a flick outwards because we're creating a sexy cat eye today for the holidays. All you want to do is get that on on that outer portion and then start blending out those edges and then just kind of start stamping it upwards. Stamp it up. Stamp it up past the brow. Have no fear, the blending brush is here. So I'm literally taking the brush 
and stamping it beyond my brow upwards to my temple. Then hopping over to the color right next to it, Soloist, and that is the final color that I'm gonna be using to define the inner portion of the crease. So we have a darker color on the outer portion and a softer color on the inner portion. And if you so desire, you can flip this into the front of the brow. I always do this because it makes everything look more cohesive in my final look. You don't have to do it. I'm telling you, as soon as you start doing it, you can't live without it. And I mean, do you see how fast and easy that just sculpted my entire crease area? It gave me dimension, it gave me a look. Now you could totally stop here, but of course I'm extra and we're adding a whole lot more. On the lid! On the lid, I'm applying this color right here. This is called Originator, and I'm slightly damping my brush to give it an extra punch of shine. And then just make your lids happy with such a booming, beautiful color. All right, now it's time for some fun, trust me. So I'm going in with this right here. This is a Super Stay Ink Crayon. This is originally meant for your lips. It's great as a base for your eyeliner too. This one is in the color Settle For More 65. And I'm gonna be using this as a base for my Smoky Vampy Liner. So taking a small little brush and I'm just blending in the edges, getting everything soft and diffused. And this is like truly the perfect base for a smoky liner like that. Okay, now I'm taking this really vampy dark color called a Voyager and using that same brush, I'm just gonna set it. So simply stamping that color onto the base. And then hopping over to this shade called Globe Trotter, and that's going right above it for more smokiness and vampiness. Then for the lower lashes, I kind of wanted this to feel Loren kind of moment by opening the outer corner of the lower lash line up. So using that same Super Stay Ink Crayon, I am gonna lay it down as a base and leaving a little gap open here for lightness. And we're just gonna buff and blend and smoke it out. And just like we did on the top, I'm first going in with this color and then that one right after. On the waterline to really open up and create that effect, I'm using this right here, the Master Drama Light Liner. It's a brightening eyeliner in the color 40 Matte Light Beige. All right, I'm quickly gonna go off camera to pop some falsies on, and not just falsies, but also the falsies Lash Lift Mascara on the lower lashes, and I'll be right back. And you also just wanna put that mascara under the lightness of that new eye-opening trick. So instead of like putting mascara right at the base where we applied that lightness, you wanna go right underneath that line to enhance that effect. Time to apply a pop of blush coming mainly from the sides of the face, sweeping forward so that we sculpt more and more because this look is about elevation, sculpation, eyelinerization, all the Asians. I also like to pop a little bit of blush right here on the, the bridge of the nose because you know why? Life's too short not to have blush on the bridge of your nose. <laughs> For highlighter, I'm going in with this beauty, this stunner. This is the Master Chrome in 250. And you know, I may or may not have had a little hand in helping Maybelline choose this shade, okay? I may or may not, which means I definitely have. <laughs> I mean, I think we can all see that I helped them with this shade because it is beaming to the heavens of all makeup land. I love this one so much. It's affordable, it's beautiful, it's a must. Don't get it twisted, this rocks. Also popping that on the tip of the nose, creating a line upwards, as well as right here on that bridge. This right here, this little highlight trick here, 
for me, always kind of finishes a look. Like if I don't do this, I'll notice and feel incomplete. Like what is a makeup step for you that if you don't do it, you feel incomplete? It might be something really big as foundation or lashes, but something intricate and small like just putting highlighter right here on that center. If I don't do it, I feel un finished. For lip, I thought naughty, I thought darkness, or at least something colorful and out there. So why not use that same liner base on our lips? That is exactly the color it needed. And that's it guys, that completes this Naughty for the Holidays makeup tutorial in collaboration with Maybelline for their makeup like this series. Again, if you wanna see a more nice look, then head over to their channel to see what that is all about. Other than that, that is it for me today. I really truly hope you enjoyed and definitely let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna be nice or naughty for the holiday season. And now let's go on to today's Dutch word of the day. For today's Dutch word of the day, I thought it was gonna be very fitting to do cat eye because you know, when you're in Holland and you're hiring a makeup artist to do your look and you want a cat eye look, you might as well tell them you want the Dutch version of it. So let's go. Katten oog. Kat, which means cat. Oog, oog is eye. This vampy katten oog is everything. <laughs> If you wanna get featured in my next video, all you have to do, you know this by now, is leave the Dutch word of the day down below in the comments, and who knows, you might see your own face pop up in my next video. I hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one.